Hello everyone, in this video we'll be going through the export to mesh option and then in the end I'll show you how you can use that mesh in an older version of Unity. Um, that feature isn't officially supported so it may or may not work for in your use case. Um, so I'll just start going through how this can be done. So here I have my Unity uh, project in Unity 2021.2 and I have a, a folder where I have my character inside. So really simple setup and I've imported Fluffy into this project. So just really simple, I'm just gonna drag this character into my scene and select the, the mesh that I want to add some fur to then hit, uh, hit the strand preset and now we have some fur on it I'm not gonna start grooming because that's covered in other videos but if I scroll down to the bottom here we have the export to skin mesh option so I'm hitting that and then I'll save this mesh into my character folder And after a while we have now have a mesh um, and it also created a new object here which now contains the skin mesh so now if I want to use this in, a, in an older project I just have to remove the fur creator and the fur renderer which are both disabled now and then I'll make a prefab out of this by just dragging it into my folder and now this, this scene is pretty much set up um, and then I'll just drag the whole folder into my unity 2020.3 project and just wait for it to import and then drag the prefab that I created into my scene. So now we see that we have the same fur in an older version of Unity. Um, we get a pink, get pink fur, and that's because we don't have a material attached. Um, so I'll just create a simple standard material. And since it's a skinned mesh, the fur is also skinned to, to the character. Alright, that's it. Um, remember, this functionality isn't officially supported, so if you run into to trouble, um, you might be on your own, but um, it may or may not be possible for, for the Unity version you are using. Alright, thanks for watching, see you in another video.